What is the meaning of Sufism? Uh, literary meaning? Well, Sufism, in a sense, is uh, what Bhaktism is in the Hindu context. Bhakti means to offer service to the Lord. Does it mean? Absolutely. So then, then if the Lord is to be sad, then he must be a person. Otherwise, where is the question of service? Well, the Sufis do see that, the personal aspect of the Lord. In the now, unless one is person, how can I serve him? I cannot serve the air or the sky. I must serve a person. Love does not exist in the sky or in the air. It must be a person, man or woman, it doesn't matter. Otherwise, where there is love? Whom to love? The Sufis find love in these figures. For example, the Sufi of an Arabi through the face of a beautiful woman. Through the face of a beautiful woman? Yes. So that the materialists also find? There's the material aspect, absolutely. Therefore, in Islam, really, uh, the form is uh, rejected because it will come to that. As soon as they think of form, they think of this material form, beautiful face of over. That is degradation. Therefore, you are strict not to conceive material form. That is a Vedic conception. Apanipada Javanagrahita. He has no legs and no hands. This is uh, denying the form. The next he says, the Veda says, Javanagrahita. He can accept whatever you offer to him. That means he ha God has no material form, but he has form. Otherwise, how he can accept? How he can accept? understand my love? So that when the original Islamism, the form means uh, not accepted. Uh, so that is basic description. Form and formless. Formless means no material form, and form means spiritual form. Simultaneous. Just like I am, you are. We are. I am within the body, but I am not this body. This form are not I. Am. But what from the form of the body came into existence? Because I have got form. The sweater has got hand because I have got hand. The sweater is a covering. If I have got form, the how the sweater has got hand, the pant has got leg. So the pant practically is not the leg, the real leg is within the pant. Similarly, this is not my form. This is like pant, leg of the pant, or hand of the coat. A real form is within. Asmin Dehe. That is not material form. If the real form I could see, you could see, then there was no controversy, the spirit, but they cannot see. Therefore they say formless. 
If it is formless, then how the outer form comes out? How it can be? The tailor makes the coat because the man has got form. As the court has got uh, hands, so it is concluded that the man for whom the court is made, he has got form. How you can say without form? The difficulty is that we can see the form of the court, but we cannot see the form of the man. That is my defects in the eyes. Not that the, the, God is formless. God is not formless. God is seen in the form of the saints. Eh? God is seen in the form of the saints. That is another. That is secondary. But God has got form. That is the conclusion. But we cannot see with our present eyes. That is described. Other Sri Krishna Namadi Navavin Grayam Indriya. By your this blunt senses. Same thing. It's like I see you. What I see your body. You see me my body. And when the body is there and the soul is not there, then it is lump of matter. You kick it out and nobody will protest. If a dead body you smash with your legs and boots, nobody will say, why are you doing this? But so long the soul is there, if somebody is uh, smashed like that, any, immediately there will be protest on all sides. Why are you doing this? So the people have no knowledge about the real form. Therefore they say or less. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama. Yeah.